guys, Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, if you're new here, uh, please hit that subscribe button. If you're a subscriber, got a little uh, information here about PPE or personal protective equipment. So these are the things that I use for cutting firewood. So we're going to talk through these things. I've got a, a unboxing of a couple new items I got from Steel. So stay with us, guys, and remember, keep it in the timber. Hey now. Take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, let's jump into it here. On the table here, you can see I've got uh, some things that I use for cutting firewood, so we're going to kind of talk through them. Uh, must have are chaps. Uh, please don't be that guy who's out there cutting firewood in shorts. Um, they're just invaluable. I've already hit my leg once with, you know, with the saw blade and you know chaps aren't the most comfortable thing in the world there's all different kinds different colors you know some are super hot but protect a lot more you got to kind of find that balance so you know chaps i'm going to do an unboxing here of the, the steel chaps that i just got um, right here is a helmet i know a lot of you guys don't like to wear helmets you know ear protection is is probably the most important piece um, but i like the helmet and the main thing i like about the helmet is actually the face mask when I'm out felling trees and cutting down limbs and stuff like that, I've been hitting the face more times than I can count by, you know, something that has sprung back. So, so helmet, um, this is a really good one. I know Steel has some other helmets that don't get good reviews, but this is their newest one. And so we'll do an unboxing of that. Uh, steel toed shoes. So this is an old boot of mine. You, know, you can see the, uh, <laughs> the steel showing through there. I actually didn't hit that with the chainsaw. That was a, that was a motorcycle accident that happened a while back but you can see how, how important a steel toe is um, and just super comfortable to wear good boots. And then lastly, here we've got some gloves and um, I probably have more gloves than my wife has shoes. I know it sounds weird, but um, you know, it kind of depends on what I'm doing and the time of year. So um, one thing about firewood is firewood just destroys gloves. I don't know why, but it just eats right through a cheap pair of gloves. So you gotta have something super durable. And what I like are, are these right here. They're kind of a, I think these are actually, they're like a, a glass protection type of thing. So there's um, rubber on here. And I use these in the summertime. So thin with kind of a rubber um, a palm. Very, very durable. And you don't get super sweaty in those. So that's what I like to use in the summer. This right here is just kind of a, an average uh, insulated gloves. I actually use this for cutting. I would not use this for handling firewood. You can kind of see I've done that and it's already started wearing through the palm. So you gotta have a super durable palm when you're, when you're trying to handle the firewood. But I use these for cutting. Um, got a little bit of insulation. Uh, just a great glove all around. That's my favorite color too, blue, right? And then these right here are just absolutely dynamite. Now they're starting to, starting to wear out a little bit with this one, but um, these are uh, Kinetico. And they're, what I wear these for is handling the firewood when it's super cold out. So when I'm splitting and, um, you know, 30 degrees or below, your hands get really cold. And, uh, you know, that firewood is cold. And these are um, very, very durable. I actually um, found these uh, online and um, guys that work at the ski resorts were using them. And uh, their, you know, tow ropes and that kind of thing are super abrasive on gloves and so that's where I found these and I found them to be just excellent for firewood and so um, these are my top picks let's get into these two unboxings now and uh, we'll kind of go through that but uh, personal protect protective equipment is absolute must when you're doing firewood it's, it's actually fairly dangerous from felling trees using the chainsaws and even the splitter so you want to protect yourself as best you can all right let's take a look at these chaps um, if you go on Steel's website they have several different version of chaps um, I think their Pro Series um, are their most expensive, and I didn't want to get those because they, they're actually super warm in the summertime, um, but they do kind of wrap around your leg a little bit better. But the reason I like Steel, um, oh, I like the brand for one thing, but, um, and I know that might sound stupid, but you know, you gotta kind of find things that make you wear them. A comfortable, if, you, if you're into brands, you know, wear the brand. If it helps you wear the protective equipment, then go ahead and do it. You know, it might sound silly, but that's that's one reason I went with steel. But the main reason was, is they do some sizing things that other people don't do. Um, so you probably can't read that label there, but basically what steel does, they have adjustable waist, which most of them do, but they also size them by length. So I'm a relatively short guy, I'm five foot seven. 
I needed something shorter. So my old pair, I kept tripping on them because they were made for a guy who's six feet tall. And uh, a lot of them aren't sized that way. It's kind of one size fits all for length. These um, are sized by length, but not inseam. So be aware of that. Um, it's actually from the waist to your boot height is what the sizing is. And so um, I think steel does like 32, 36, 40, something like that. So, you know, they don't give you every size, but you're gonna find something that works good for you. So let's just take a look at these. Um, they come in different colors. This is called their Performance Series. Um, it's got a pocket here. And, uh, you know, just your basic chap with um, buckles that go around. As you can see, these are relatively uh, short. And um, I like them. They go just to the top of my boot. And uh, we're going to give them a go. I haven't actually cut with them yet, but we're going to cut with them today. Um, so again, you know, any chap is better than no chap. And find one that's comfortable or a color you like. I think, you know, steel even has a camouflage version. Kind of cool. Um, they have high vis, of course, if you're, you're working on big equipment. Um, I just went with the orange. All right, guys, this is the new helmet by Steel. This is their advanced vent uh, model. I know they have some other ones out there that um, don't get the greatest reviews. Uh, this one's relatively new, and uh, I was a little skeptical when I when I went to go look at it, but um, it's actually super comfortable, and uh, I think I'm going to like it. I, the ear protection seems to fit nice. So let's unbox it and see what we got here. Don't you love packaging? All right, so you can see it's got the vents on the top, it's got reflectors, it's got the snap down earmuffs. This is kind of a nice feature here. So some of them don't have this where um, it adjusts to your head with just a twist of a dial. Um, if you look right here, it does have some some felt or leather right here and uh, so that'll kind of protect your forehead if you get sweaty it'll absorb some of that um, so that's kind of a key feature you know um, helmets what happens to, to them is these face guards tend to not work well or they're hard to see out of and uh, this one is um, kind of minimalistic and I really like how um, you can see out of it durability I guess we don't know yet but uh, you know, like I said, I've been hit in the face by branches, you know, more times than I can count and um, just hate to catch one in the eye. Uh, hearing protection, you know, the thing about your hearing is you, you can never get it back. Um, I actually have 25% hearing in one side. So, you know, I'm not sure how that happened, but it happened to the younger, younger time in my life when I was stupid and what, didn't wear protection, probably shooting guns or whatever. But um, you can see there's a vent across the back and uh, just a super comfortable helmet. I'll try it on for you. You can pop the ears down and they kind of snap in over your ears. And then you got the face shield. And then in the back here, you can just turn the dial. So, you know, if it's cold out and you got a hat under there, you can adjust it to be larger. But, uh, so far, I really like it. Um, I think it's uh, not that this is a huge deal, but it's rather stylish. Um, it's kind of modeled after some of the new European models. So really like this, this helmet. Let's give it a go. All right, guys, let's wrap this one up. Um, those are the four things that I like to wear when cutting firewood. So chaps, helmet, good pair of steel toe boots, and then just a variety of different gloves depending on the situation. Uh, so if you uh, learned a few things or like this kind of content, please, you know, smash that like button, share it with your friends, and, um, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. We do a lot of stuff with chainsaws, cutting firewood, um, we have some hunt land that we manage, so a lot of tips on how to build habitat for deer and so forth. So uh, thanks for being with us guys, and remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye bye.